What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Got a exciting review to do today. Uh, this was sent to me from Gearbest uh, to review, so big thumbs up for them for sending me this. This is the new FAYE FY001. This is the B version, is the tracked version of this truck. That's why I've been excited to uh, review this. I want to see what these, um, these little tracks are capable of. Anyway, this is part one of the review. Uh, full unboxing and a, a good look over the truck itself and then part two um, I'll do a running video get it, take it to a decent area to give it a good run and then I'll have a summary at the end to uh, to give my thoughts on the performance of the truck uh, and then we can maybe talk about some upgrades and stuff like that anyway let's get into the box the anything uh, all the stuff uh, that I talk about on this video all the links will be in the description um, for this one, the, uh, the camera one, and the untracked version as well. All the links for Gearbest in the description for that. So first of all, let's uh, get out of the box and make sure it is the tracked version. Uh, obviously ready to run, this comes. Uh, there's no kit version at the moment, uh, so this comes ready to run. And uh, instructions. Have a quick look at what it says in the box before I chuck this on the floor. Uh, four wheel drive, it says strong motor, battery, 2.4 uh, gig remote control, 1 16th scale. Obviously, it says camera on there, uh, whereas this isn't the camera version. Um, and then a little bit of writing at the back there just explaining that it's a, de it's a good, detailed American style truck. I haven't got a posh knife like some of you YouTubers have out there to undo stuff. Just a pair of cheap IKEA scissors. <laughs> so here it is. It all looks in one piece. A few little scuffs on it. Let's get it out. And there's the controller. Just your standard non-proportional uh, on-off kind of controller. And then comes with your standard USB um, charger there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that little bit is. Oh, it's the air, so clips on there. Um, there's nothing really in there though, so I don't know why. Maybe it's just for uh, the Wi-Fi control if it's got a camera on it. Anyway, here's the truck. Uh, as you can see, I've got some pictures here. This is uh, thanks to John Hoskin. He sent me these pictures. He's got one of these um, and he's compared it size wise to the B1. A uh, link to his YouTube channel is in the description. He's done a little running video of this already. So uh, have a look at that, give him some support. So yeah, very similar to the B1, however, slightly bigger. And because I don't own a B1, I'm not 100% sure on how the, um, the cab looks, but this one has got the glass in there or plastic and it's also got um, the wipers there so that's a nice bit of detail. Uh, it feels quite weighty, it's got a bit of weight to it. The rubber on the tracks feels nice and soft. On the pictures um, it looks a bit plasticky whereas they're really nice and that's nice soft rubber um, on there and it looks like they, they're removable. Suspension wise um, it's got leaf spring suspension, it's quite stiff but then you'd maybe expect that um, with the tracks on there anyway. Uh, rear cab there and then there's a little plug on the bottom there and I'm guessing that, that would also be for the Wi-Fi camera. Uh, a couple of exhausts coming out the back there um, and uh, a few other bits of detail as you can see there with the fuel tanks, side steps, uh, force truck and then your little fake winch on the front, nicely painted with the uh, tow hooks there or like your little uh, hooks there. They're not functional, they're just moulded plastic. So let's have a look underneath. So you can see you've got your proportional, non-proportional steer in there. Uh, and then we've got our front axle steering. Same sort of uh, prop shafts, same sort of drive shafts, 
um, and gearbox arrangement. The gearbox is bigger than the B1, the WPL version, so bigger gearbox there. And then going down to the rear axle. Um, rear axle looks slightly different with them square bits on there. And then you can see the front also, you can see that looks slightly different how it's fitted in there. Um, they are just screwed in though, so we'll take one off in a minute and we'll have a look um, and see. We'll have a look and see how it uh, how it attaches. But yeah, anyway, looks nice. I'm quite impressed with this. It's got LED front lights, and I'm not sure. So the rear lights look like they might be functional on this. Uh, that'd be nice if they are. You can see the tracks. Got a bit of movement there as well as you've got your suspension. It looks like, yeah, so battery is in the front, same as the uh, B1. We'll connect that up in a second and then we'll get some batteries in the controller. Be enough power in this, uh, I've not charged it yet, but. There should be enough power in this just to see how it works. So we've got functioning front lights. Uh, the rear lights aren't um, functioning like I first thought. Steering. It's, it's non-proportional, but it seems a lot quicker than the uh, WPL ones. Quite noisy, but like I say, looks quite quick. And running. So we've got proportional uh, motor control. Slowly increase. And then reverse. So that's good to know that we've got proportional uh, throttle control, just non-proportional steering. I'm sure that would be an easy modification um, with a servo in there. Nice, right. So all round, it looks like pretty good uh, piece of kit. And I can imagine that although it's slightly bigger than the B1, um, I imagine you'd be able to do some of the modifications. The chassis seems very similar. Let's take the cab off and the back end off. And let's have a look underneath. So cab off, back end off, and it's really the cab is only held on by two little screws um, in the side. So nice and easy to get that off. So in here we have got um, what looks like a 180 motor. So bigger than the uh, bigger than your stock uh, ready to run WPLs. Looks like the gearbox is slightly bigger there as well. So you've obviously got your gearing reduced, I'd say, um, for the extra. Um, power needed or the extra gearing needed for your tracks and then you've got your electronics in here where you've got your LEDs and um, that are plugged into um, so yeah so this is underneath as you can see it's got your normal um, like ladder frame underneath and then I'm not taking it off but I'm not taking it off but underneath here will be your steering motor and I'm sure that will be an easy upgrade to a servo, which I'll definitely be doing um, to this thing. Um, initial looking in, not sure. I don't know if I've got one to hand. Let me just see if I've got a gearbox from a WPL. So here's a WPL gearbox and 
for those that weren't sure or for those that want to know the screw holes the mounting holes for the gearbox look like they do actually line up um, which is good news because you may be able to fit the twin motor setup on this which I'm sure will help and while we've got while we've got the motor out you can see the size difference there see the size difference there let's do it upside down actually so side by side and you can see the difference there um, but yeah it looks like the mounting position so it looks like the mounting of WPL gearbox is the same without trying it, I wouldn't know but the holes do line up so good news Right, let's take one of the tracks off and let's have a look at how it's mounted on there as well. Right, let's let's get a track off and let's see uh, see how it is underneath. We'll take one off the front and one off the back. Now, that is also very interesting. Yeah, the axles are slightly different. So if you are thinking about putting the tracks on to um, on the WPLs, you will need. You can see it's got the um, squared off bit there that this fits over um, and then the track just slots onto there there it is that's the inside of it nice and simple you can see how it works as you turn it just turns that inner one that then spins um, spins on the track or grips the top of the track which then just turns all the other wheels so yeah I'm not going to take the rear off the rear will be um, exactly the same as that but so it would be possible would be possible to fit these tracks um, on one of the WPLs however you will need the adapters uh, or that you will need the different axles um, to do that So first impressions on this, it's a nice truck. Uh, this has definitely got some potential. This has definitely got potential with some upgrades um, and this will be a really nice, um, really nice truck. Not sure how these are gonna perform. Um, look like they might slip a little bit, but um, we'll give these a test. Keep an eye out for part two. Hopefully have part two up by this weekend. Um, Cheers for watching this, and again, thanks to Gearbest for sending this over to me for review. Um, see you next time.